welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're not already subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video. Today, I'm going to be talking about a CTM, what the roles and responsibilities are, what education you need, as well as the salary expectations. So make sure you stick around and watch the entire video. is a CTM. CTM stands for Clinical Trial Manager. And essentially what a clinical trial manager does is establish productive vendor relationships, ensure clinical trial compliance, and improve the efficiency, effectiveness, and overall quality of clinical trial activities. Now what does that mean? I'm going to go each one by each one. When you are a clinical trial manager working on the sponsor side, working for a pharma or a biotech company, there are going to be various vendors that you interact with. One that we always talk about and know is going to be a CRO. Who in the sponsor is overseeing the CRO to make sure they're staying on budget, they're abiding by their timelines. Who's going to do that? That's going to be the clinical trial manager. Who is going to oversee the vendor who is helping with the IP various sites? Because my, remember, Remember, this drug isn't approved yet. Even if a drug is approved, there's different things that go into shipping out investigational product. Clinical operations is gonna oversee those responsibilities and oversee the vendor. So a clinical trial manager is going to be responsible for overseeing and maintaining that, those relationships. Ensuring clinical trial comp compliance. In all my videos, I tell you every role in clinical research is responsible for compliance because they are. We want to make sure at every single possible checkpoint, we are abiding by the fed federal and global regulations as it pertains to clinical research. Well, a clinical trial manager, of course, has to ensure clinical trial compliance. Improving the efficiency, effectiveness, and quality of overall clinical activities. What does that what does that look like? You know I love to give examples, so here is the best one. When I was working for a smaller pharmaceutical company, we didn't have a clinical operations department. I've said this multiple times that working for smaller companies, you wear multiple hats. So I was regulatory, but on other days, I was also clinical operations. We had a CRO that wasn't doing their job and the CRO had to be fired. They weren't meeting timelines. The project manager was almost impossible to reach. It just wasn't a cohesive relationship that we thought it would be. Now keep in mind, I was the person who initially found the CRO. There were three CROs that I found, brought it to my team, laid out the pros and cons, this specific client came to our office and met with us in person and we felt like we had a good connection with them so we decided to go with them. We were wrong. We were wrong. But nonetheless, this is why I always find three co comparative analyses for vendors that we're going to work with so that if one flops, we have another one on the back end that we're ready to go with. We've already had CDAs executed, no problem. The CRO, we ended up firing them on a call. Should my boss have fired them? Yes, but I ended up firing the CRO. I got approval from executive management and I told them, this is why we need to fire them. These are the things they're not meeting. This is how they're gonna affect our timelines. This is how they're gonna affect our budget. This is this CRO, this is what their costs are, and this is when they're ready to go and how soon we can get started. The transition was so quick and smooth. We let go of one CRO and hire the other literally on the same day. That is how efficient you have to be as a clinical trial manager to resolve problems. You have to see the problem as it's happening and come up with the solutions because it's gonna fall on you if the study is not abiding by budgets, not abiding by timelines, because it's your responsibility to oversee that clinical study. Now let's get into other roles and responsibilities of a clinical trial manager. Keep in mind that this list is not exhaustive and the roles and responsibilities that you have as a clinical trial manager will vary based on the organization that you are working for. As a CTM, you are responsible for study startup activities, feasibility, and qualification of clinical sites. Now, I said before in my other video that CRAs partake in study startup activities as well. They do. I normally have seen a lot of CRAs report to the clinical trial manager. Whether that's a clinical trial manager on the sponsor side or the CRO side, a CRA doesn't really manage themselves. They're gonna have a lot of interaction and direction coming from the CTM. Something else the CTM is gonna do is reviewing study documents. You're gonna provide input on those study documents, protocols, monitoring plan, investigator brochures, and so many other documents. But as a clinical trial manager working on the sponsor side, those are some of the things that you will partake in. You're also gonna analyze and develop action plans to resolve issues at CROs or with CRAs. If an investigational site has an issue, it's up to you to come up with a plan to resolve that problem. Additionally, you're gonna be managing the overall progress of the study. With your CRA, who is big brother on the ground, giving you information as to what is happening at those investigational sites. Additional things you might be doing is preparing budgets and timelines. Being a CTM, in my opinion, is 
awesome. I love clinical operations. I feel like it's so much fun and it kind of feels like the business side tied in still with the science side, if that makes sense. Cause you're doing vendor management, you're doing proposals, you're doing budgets, you're running study meetings probably and going over issues at different sites and coming up with action plans to resolve it. But you still get to be involved in reviewing clinical study protocols and ICFs and talking to various clinical staff. So I feel like it's a really great job for someone who likes business side and project management, but it's still like a little bit of a science science nerd such as myself. Education, what kind of education do you have to have to be a CTM? Generally a bachelor's of science in biology, you can have a public health degree, a nursing degree, any science-based healthcare degree, I feel like would be great for someone who's interested in being a CTM. Now I will say that being a CTM, there aren't that many entry-level jobs that I've personally seen. I do believe it requires some sort of experience. In my CRA video, I said, if you are a CRA and you wanna no longer be going to sites and kind to be more on the back end overseeing the trial from a different lens. CTM could be a great way for you to transition into that kind of environment. A CRA with one to two years of experience could probably move into a CTM role because you understand a lot of what goes into overseeing a clinical study. You also know what happens at investigational sites because you used to be on the ground. So again, you're gonna have a different perspective and every perspective is a great one when you work in clinical research. Last to close out this video, what does a CTM pay? How much money can you make as a CTM? I'm going to bring out my handy dandy iPad as I always do. As of June 22nd, 2022, the average annual pay for a clinical trial manager in the United States is $131,516 per year. Clinical research and development has so many opportunities and you can make great money. I don't know why these schools push people with bachelors in science to med school or to be a PA or to be a nurse. There are so many other opportunities out there that make great money. If you're interested in being a CTM, go on LinkedIn right now and apply to that job. If you feel like you have the experience, apply. The worst thing they can tell you is what? No. Or just keep applying until you're able to get your foot into the door. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If there are any other job titles that you would like me to review, leave those comments down below. Again, make sure you're following me on TikTok. And I haven't said this in a while, but make sure you order my book, The Prepared Graduate. The link is in the description. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye.